This week, what to do with all those articles, videos and stuff that you want to read in Evernote. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how I would set up a read, review and watch notebook. Now the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm seeing a lot of people throwing their articles that they want to read, videos they want to watch and putting them into their to-do list manager because they think they're going to forget it. And yes, Evernote is not very good at reminding us to read the articles that we wanted to read. And it just, the, if you do keep them in a notebook, then it just starts building up. I personally use a label for it, but it doesn't matter whether you're using a, sorry, a tag. It doesn't matter whether you're using a tag or a notebook for this. The problem always is that it starts building up and building up and building up and we never take time to catch up with our reading. So I've got a fix for that. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now before I do that, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this episode, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you would just hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's go into Evernote now and I'll show you how to set up a read, review and watch notebook in Evernote. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to set up the notebook. So all we need to do is go in to click on notebook. I'm going to call it read, watch, review. That's what I'm going to call this one. I'm going to make it private so that uh, I have this because it's just for me. I'm going to put it in there. So now I have my read, review, read, watch, review notebook. That's the first thing that you need to do. Next up, what we need to do is we need to go into uh, and find an article. So we've got one here. This is an article that I want to read. Food, sleep, exercise. Why you, should, why you seriously need all three. So all I need to do now is type in my read, review, watch, bang, and send it. Now, the thing is, I don't want to be adding a label to that. This is a temporary note. This is a note that I'm going to read. Bam, 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 bam. Once I've read the article, I can then delete it. So the article's read, I can delete it, and that's all done. Now, the next part, and now this does depend on what to-do list manager you are using. And this is the whole point, because what I find is when people create a read, review, watch, uh, notebook, it just fills up. And you end up with 30, 40, 50. In some cases, I've seen where they've got 300 notes, uh, articles in there to read or to watch. Now, the problem then is, is when are you ever going to watch those or read those articles? You're just not going to do it. You become numb. Now, you can apply a few rules to yourself. You can say any article that is older than three weeks, just delete or two weeks or whatever. But I think there's a better way of doing that. And that is to make full use of your to-do list manager. Now, for those of you who follow me probably already know that I use one called Todoist. Now, in Todoist, I have a routines folder, which is here, and I can, inside my routines folder, I have a daily one, a daily routines list. So in here, what I can do is review read review notebook in Evernote and just add a recurring date. Now in this case what I've done is I think it's just about see that e oops every two days. So every two days I'm going to get a reminder to go in and review that notebook. Now unfortunately when I was checking this out if you go back into here I can share this and I can share the notebook and I can go into shared but all it will allow me to do is to actually enter somebody's email address and then that's going to encourage them to go online and, you know, it, it just isn't going to work. What I was hoping for that we would get a link to the notebook, but we don't. But that doesn't matter because the, the fact is for most of us, we have our Evernote open every day anyway. So all we need to do is when we're in our 
uh, our to-do list manager, whichever one you're using, as long as you've got a daily recurring task in there that will come up or every two days, just to remind you to go in and check the notebook, then you are going to be fine. You will be, you'll get that little reminder that comes up every day and you can go in and bang. And so you keep this, this notebook pretty low in terms of the stuff that you want to read. You've got to be realistic. I mean, if you are doing, if you've got hundreds and hundreds of articles in there that you haven't read, and some of those articles are three months old or six months old, then seriously, you're not actually going to read them. And so you just want to delete them. But the key for me is I never would add a label to this, a, a tag to this, simply because it's just a temporary holding place while I read that article. Once I'm done, I can then move on and if I want to keep it, I can then change the notebook and add a tag. But most often than not, when I have something in here, I don't really actually want to read that. I don't usually read it, and and so I just delete it. Once I've read it, I don't I don't usually keep them. Finally, what I would suggest you do as well, just to keep it up front and centre, so it doesn't become a dumping ground. Another thing you can do is just add that to your favourites. So you can just add the to shortcuts and you can just add that one in there if i add that in there and go into my shortcuts now you'll see that that is down there as read re oh, read review watch is up here i already have one because i i do actually use this system i just wanted to share with you how to set that one up so that's just something that you should do is just add it to your shortcuts so you can get to it very very quickly and if you have a few moments where you're sitting around waiting for something you can actually get on and just read some articles hopefully that's given you some ideas to play with see if you can modify your own system so that that read review watch folder notebook becomes something that means something to you and that you're actively going through it on a regular basis thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you very much for watching this video now have i got something special to tell you about the Time and Life Mastery version 3 course has launched. Now this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course, and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled, and hopefully I'll see you in the course.